What I'd like for you to do is tell your name, tell us your name, your full name, and also I'm going to ask you to state that you know that we're working with Duke Media, which is Bill Duke okay. Company, and that you give us permission to use your image and voice in, in this documentary. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, you can announce my name, right? And then I'm going to proclaim that this is a Bill, Bill Duke film, film, and I give, I, I give consent. Yes. Yeah. To use my, my image, image and voice. And, and voice. And voice. Okay. 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 Speak. Hey, my name is Damon Lawrence. Uh, I'm, I'm here with Bill Duke Films, and I uh, give full consent, and permission, uh, for Duke Films to uh, use my uh, likeness and. Uh, Image and, and voice. Work. Yeah. And voice. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. First question. Um, we want to ask you, what is a man? Um, a man, in my opinion, is a is a provider. He's a, a caretaker, a caregiver. He's strong, even in tough situations. He's a teacher. He's a a learner. He's a partner. A man is. <clears throat> A man is the fabric of life and humanity. A man is what 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 I would like to call uh, I'm struggling for words right now. Um, <laughs> it's just it's so much when you talk about a man. There's so much involved. There's so many titles. So many details, um, and uh, no one word defines a man. Um, no one experience defines a man. A man is a, 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 a praiser of, of God. A man is a, a teacher of God. A man is a son. A man is a father. A man is a brother. Uh, a man is someone who, when he sees his people's, pupils, family in tough situations, step up to the challenge. Uh, a man is a, a fighter. A man is a maintainer. Uh, a man is a, a warrior, and not in the barbaric sense, uh, uh, in, 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 in all shapes and forms of, of the word. A uh, spiritual warrior, a physical warrior, in combat when needed, uh, and necessarily protect uh, his own interests or his family, so to speak. Uh, a man is a warrior in, in the social aspect of protecting his people from all kinds of uh, misnomers and, and uh, misdirected propaganda against his people, against his kind, which, wh wh whichever form that may be. Uh, a man is, a man is strength. <clears throat> a man is, uh, a man is, is, uh, he's humble. He's humble. He acknowledges uh, 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 situations where he may not be able to win. You know, he may, be, he may, may not be able to win at that time. He knows when to uh, strategically pull out and then re-engage later on. A man is intellect. <clears throat> a man is a thinker. <clears throat> a man never allows his emotions to supersede his intelligence in any situation. A man thinks everything through. A man is uh, very detailed in uh, how he engages situations. A man is uh, uh, at times inferior to his circumstances. A man is uh, weak. A man is balanced. A man has a, a, a good grasp of what he's up against, and uh, that's pretty much what a man is. And uh, and uh, anything else to me would be a demonization of a man. Um, and all of the, all of these things obviously have their negative and their positive connotations, but for the most part, a man is positivity. A man is light, or or, or God wouldn't have put us here, obviously. So, um, with that being said, I think I'm complete in my definition of a man. What, what do you think that a man wants from a woman? A man wants companionship. A man wants uh, someone who, when times are difficult, he can sit down and engage in conversation and come out with a solution as opposed to a problem. Uh, a, a, man, a man wants from a woman <clears throat> uh, her, 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 her comfort, her, her delicacies. Uh, which is one of the things that men sometimes uh, uh, lack. A man wants a, a, a woman's uh, feel and, and thought and emotions on a situation. 
something that men sometimes disengage from as far as emotions is concerned. Um, a man wants a wife, a man wants a, a child bearer, so a man should choose his wife carefully. Um, a man wants from a woman for her to be upright with him and, 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 and honest with him at all times so that she can make him become a better man. Uh, a man wants from a woman her, her uh, presence, which sometimes is more than anything. If she was, most of the time, a woman doesn't even have to open her mouth. Her presence alone is enough for a man if they're in tune with each other. So I, I believe that's what a man wants from a woman. Is, is there a difference between a man and a male? Absolutely. Absolutely. A male has all the physical attributes <clears throat> of a man, but a man has the intangibles of being a male, which differentiates him from other species of life. You have males in every species of life. You have male plants, you have male insects, you have male uh, animals, cats, dogs, but that's not what a man is. A man is, uh, a, man is a thinker, a man is uh, 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 highly intelligent. Whereas a lot of these things, they're just instinctive that, you know, God created them with a certain purpose and they don't deviate, they can't deviate from it. Whereas men, a man, he has choices, he has a free will, he can, he can either go with the grain or go against the grain. And, and that's the difference between a man and a male. What kind of images do you think a man should show his young son to grow up, for him to grow up into a, a man as he sees it? Uh, he should show strength. He should also show weaknesses. He should, he should show vulnerability at times because uh, most men, they feel that if they show vulnerability, it proves that they're weak. But the reality is men are weak. That's just a part of the human nature. Uh, only God is infinitely strong. So we have to have weaknesses to differentiate, you know, to differentiate, differentiate make the difference between us and, and, the, and the divine supreme being. Um, a man should show fortitude a man should show <clears throat> great intelligence. A man should, should allow his son to make mistakes. A man shouldn't dictate to his son uh, what his son should be doing. He should only advise. And when his son makes mistakes, just be there to pick him up and uh, you know, coach him through it, so to speak. Uh, a man should show leadership to his son because eventually he's going to be a leader of his own family. Uh, a man should teach his son how to appreciate his mother so that he can pick and choose a, a better mate for himself, you know, as he progresses into manhood from a young adulthood or adolescency, so to speak. Um, a man should also teach his son how to uh, provide for himself as opposed to always depending on his father to provide for him. Um, a man should not cripple his son by giving him everything. A man should allow his son to work for the things that he wants, or he just won't receive them. Um, uh, a man should teach his son how to how to uh, bear down and uh, and, and share, uh, 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 you know, in life. Because most men nowadays are very selfish, um, and I think that that has to change. We have to get back to you know, how it once was when my grandfather and great-grandfather, you know, were, were, were alive and, 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 you know, and thriving and, and being uh, selfless and making the sacrifice, you know, to make sure that their families were, you know, were okay. Um, wow. Um, wanted to ask you in terms of young men, what would you tell them today? That, that, first of all, before we even talk about what you tell them, what is the state of our young man today, in your um, opinion? Unfortunately um, for me, I, I work with youth every day. I run an um, adolescent uh, a, a, a basketball program uh, called the Brooklyn Kings Youth Basketball Club. Um, and I've been doing this for over eight years now. Um, so I've uh, seen a lot of uh, young men into college. Uh, I've produced 27 Division I college uh, scholar athletes, um, two McDonald's All-Americans, and uh, I'm still working right now, and I have a son of my own that I've been raising on my own since he was about four years old, and he's 15 now. So, so um, I, I get to see firsthand where they lack at, and the first thing they lack at is they lack in guidance. Um, society portrays images to young men that they don't have to follow any guidance. You can just do what you want to do, when you want to do it, however you want to do it, and sadly, by the time they become young men, 
and they leave their adolescency where they are, are, are no longer just patted on the back and they're held accountable in every aspect of life. They don't know how to follow rules. They're, they, they're rebels now. They're getting tattoos at 14, 15 years old. They, uh, they, 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 they barely listen to instruction. They can't take instruction well. They can't take construction, constructive criticism well. They feel that the world owes them something and that they don't have to work to receive anything. So, so my advice to the young men that I work with every day is you only receive from the work you put out. And it's as simple and basic as that. If you don't get up and put the work in, you are not going to receive anything. No one's going to give you anything. It's just simple as that. Um, so, so, so that's 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 the, that's my consistent advice. This is this is what I preach before practice begins, and once practice ends, you have to work. So, so you're basically telling them there's no such thing that they should accept, like welfare. How do you Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Welfare is not an option. Welfare is not an option. Not when you, not with all this free education around here. And if and if the and if and if you know the establishments want to charge you for for the education, they want to give you a full ride, then I, I advise them to hit the books harder and to study their craft a little harder. That way, you know, scholarships can be handed out and doled out to you like effortlessly and endlessly. I have yet to uh, have any of uh, the kids under my guidance not receive scholarships. If they was the last kid on the bench who didn't get off the bench, uh, we, got, we, we get them in schools such as St. Francis Prep and, uh, and we even go as low as uh, and I don't, I don't want to, you know, taint them, but as low as uh, Bishop Lachlan Memorial High School, which I don't really, you know, agree with their curricula and their, ac ac and their ac um, academic uh, institutionaliza institutionalization. But uh, the reality is, you know, you know, anything you want in life, if you put the work in and, 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 and you, you, you persevere and you show patience, you're going you're gonna to get exactly what it is that you're looking for. And, and that goes both ways. If you're not putting any work in, then you're, what you're looking for is nothing. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get nothing. And if you're putting the work in, then you're going to receive an enormous reward. And your life can become easy, you know, easier. Uh, I, I like to, I have an example of a kid. His name is Hakeem Harris. He's from New Jersey. Uh, he went to Blair Academy, which is one of the better high schools in the whole country. It's like $42,000 a year to go there. My son is actually ready to enroll for next year. Um, he went to Blair Academy. He was one of the top 150 ESPN players in the country. He could have went to a, a, a handful of great athletic institutions. And instead, because of his grades, he chose Brown. And once he got in, in, into school at Brown, which is an Ivy League school, he just said, you know what? I'm not gonna play basketball anymore. I did my job. I, I did my work. I put my work in. I got recognized for it. I'm at Brown now, I'm going to get my doctorates, and I'm going to start a, a, a legal practice. And he's like well on his way. And, and like he's probably the most, I'm, like he's probably the kid I'm the most proud of because of that, you know. And, and, and you know, most people would think I would be prouder of other kids who are doing well, ac you know, athletically, getting ready to enter into the NBA draft and all this stuff. But I'm really not, you know, I'm happy for them also, but I'm more proud of, you know, of Hakeem because of the path that he took. And he, he's not going to try to force the situation. He, he took what, you know, the, the work he put in, and he took what life gave him and said, look, basketball is not promise, this education is. And, and, and you know, that's, that's just, that's what it amounts to with these young guys. And they just need, they need, most, most of the time their parents are not even home enough to direct them because they have to work so many jobs because it's so expensive to live in America. Um, so they're home with no guidance. They just pretty much live their own lives. And uh, by the time their parents find out, they're at the precinct or at the courthouse trying to bail them out. You know, you know they, they've lost the grip on their kids. And uh, you know, I can't blame them, but they have to take some blame also. Because um, at the end of the day, there's no, it's no amount of money in the world you know, that's worth making and, and sacrificing your kid to this open society we live in where freedom is really not free, it comes with a price. So, you know, that's my advice to young men. Just work, persevere, get through it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're a young man, you have no responsibilities, you have no children, you, none, nothing you eat, nothing you drink, nothing you put on your behind is provided by you yourself. So you have no responsibilities. Your responsibility is to educate yourself, 
and to help your family, you know, move forward in life. So that's 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 my advice to young men. Put the work in. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks. You a dynamite. Thanks. Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.